You may remember this video from June. It shows a woman, a hero, a national treasure, pointing out what nobody else at the Wii Spa in Los Angeles felt like they could say out loud. There was a biological man walking around the spa with his biological man parts visible. Here's what she said. It's okay for a man to go into the women's section, show his penis around the other women, young little girls under age. Your spa, we spa, condone that. Is that what you're saying? Like I asked. It's so he, so he can stay there. He can stay there. But sexual orientation. I see a d it lets me know he's a man. He, he is a man. He is a man. He is not no female. He's a man. He's not no female. So here you have a black lady being completely honest about what she sees and in so doing, calling into question the core tenets of transgender ideology. And the core tenet, of course, is you can change your sex just by wishing it so. So this is like a massive threat for the people telling lies on this subject, including Slate. So all people like that dismiss this incident as a hoax, but it turns out it was not a hoax. Andy No actually did some reporting on this. He confirmed it's absolutely real. And tonight he has new details on the case to share with us. Andy No is a journalist. He's the author of Unmasked Inside Antifa's Radical Plan to Destroy Democracy. And we're happy to have him tonight. Andy, thanks so much for coming on. So this story just kind of keeps going. Where is it now? Yeah, the latest development in it is that the suspect in the Wii Spa incident, uh, that is uh, Darren Moraga, is now a fugitive. Uh, earlier this month, a judge in Los Angeles County issued a second arrest warrant because Moraga missed her court date uh, for another felony decent exposure uh, case that is open right now. I've been able to find out some additional details about the two current open criminal invest, uh, cases into Moraga. So one's the Wee Spa. The other is an incident that allegedly happened in late 2018 in West Hollywood at a swimming pool locker room. And the alleged victims there involved children that are as young as 10 years old. Girls. Yes. Um, and I interviewed uh, Moraga again and she maintains her innocence and she says that she has not had any um, sex reassignment surgery and that her large uh, app appendage is m being mistaken by other people for an erection. Um, I also found out the details in the 2003 uh, felony indecent e uh, exposure conviction that led to Moraga being a mandated registered sex offender in the state of California. Uh, the details of that is that she was convicted over um, masturbating at the window of the home of an elderly woman in Southern California. Yeah. So what we used to call flashers are now part of a protected class and the human rights campaign pays for their legal bills. It's really grotesque. And you know, I know you've taken a lot of crap for going deeper into the story, and I appreciate that you did. Thank you very much. My pleasure.